Brown votes matter. They'll be calling you a radical. Unbelievable what's gone on this political cycle. And this should be the biggest fucking wake-up call to any of you political fucking operatives out there. What she did is unbelievable. I used to protest with their father in the Nevada test site. So everything's stacked against her. And she pulls it off. The organization that they did with the culinary workers, this should be a wake-up call to all political operatives. This is gigantic. It's monumental. Because now the Senate's going to go 51-49. Most likely, Herschel Walker ain't going to win Georgia. And so they won't have to deal with say it ain't so, Joe. She's an anti-nuker, by the way. And, you know, so... The organization of the Brown, nobody has courted the Brown vote in this country. I know Mitt Romney personally. I had a conversation with him. Well, why will no one go after the Brown vote? They could just completely change the whole political landscape. And he said, well, you know that answer, Kevin. He says, both parties like it exactly the way it is. It's about cheap labor. It's about exploitation. I said, yeah, it's all about usury. By the way, the brown community, especially the Latino, the Mexican community, go to Mexico. Start talking your pro-nuclear energy shit there. They're anti-nukers. They're anti-nukers. And they're people of peace. So I've never seen a Mexican government try to wage a war on another country. And so what she did, the organization of the culinary workers, and I mean, it's unbelievable. She pulled, I mean, even though she's an incumbent and all the incumbents won, talk about it. That was, she was the one that was going to lose. I mean, almost a lock guarantee, right? And it was the brown voters. And not just the brown voter, the organization, the machine that got the brown voters registered and got them to the polls changes the entire political landscape of this entire country dramatically. Drama I don't think people even have a clue. You know, because the Democrat and what's going on in the House right now even blows my mind even more. Holy shit. I mean, every time I look up, these here comes the D and catches the R at the wire. I mean, this is going to be so razor thin and they're not going to have to deal with say it ain't so, Joe. But it's bigger than that grassroots wise. And I don't like either party. Don't get me wrong. I can't stand it. I mean, I dealt with Harry Reid for years and years and years, he and I. Over the over Yucca Mountain, over the San Onofre Waste, over turning nuclear waste, San Onofre, San Onofre into dump sites. I dealt with him for years. You know, he sadly died of cancer. Well, what do you expect when you grow up in the Nevada to say? I mean, it's, but my hats go off to her and the machine the people that organized the culinary workers and door to door registering. I mean, she would have lost. It, it, people need to wake up. You're going to see more. I, it's monumental. You can mark this day in history. I mean, it's, it's a monumental day. I mean, historic because you're going to see other and which other party does it. I mean, it's still wide open. Whichever party starts to court the brown vote in a real way, say, hey, we're not going, I mean, Enough of the exploitation. Again, the whole cheap labor nightmare that's gone on, especially in Nevada. Oh, my God, what they've done to the maids and the, you know, all of it. It's disturbing what's gone on in the last 22 years to watch this exploitation, this usury. And so she's pulled it off. And which, Kevin, I told you the day of the election. What did I say? It's going to go 5149. I told you that. that she's going to win between five and 15,000 votes. That's what she's going to win by. I told you that days ago. I can do math. I can do math. My hat is off. Hands up. No nukes. Hands up. Brown votes matter. Oh, boy, do brown votes matter. And you're going to see this happen more and more and more across a lot of different states and a lot of different dining that are so-called swing states. You go to any one of these swing states. I don't care which one. I don't care. 
and you start organizing the brown vote, which is the labor of this country. I mean, I walk the coast. I do so much work in California. I'm up at 3, 4 a.m., you know, working, taking buses, walking half for years. I'm at those bus stops shivering my ass off, you know, with a sleeping bag, waiting to get, you know, where I'm going. The only people at those bus stops, I'm telling you, the only people are brown and they're the working class and I'm up with them and I'm telling you that's it that's it that's they're the only ones there and a voting because they don't vote because nobody's done anything for them besides use them again Mitt Romney to Kevin Lynch man why the hell will neither party go out both parties like it just the way it is it's about cheap labor <laughs> this changes everything and any of your political guys, you need to wake the fuck up. It changes the political landscape. And us as grassroots activists, anti-nukers, we need to go to work. I'll be talking to her people. I'll be talking to their pe her people. You know, Fukushima, 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 Fukushima. And nuclear energy. And the testing that's going on in the Nevada test site, which was restarted up by both parties, Obama and Trump. Stop it. Quit killing us. Quit nuking us. Talk about a downwinder. I live in Utah and I've got cancer. I've been fighting AML, given two months to fucking live. I was given two months to live 11 years ago yesterday. Hands up, no nukes. To the people that organize, wow, impressive. My hats are off to you. Brown votes matter. Stay in tune.